All right, everybody, welcome back to Tomb Raider Tuesday. What do you say we uh, go ahead and get started with the game right away? Uh, I'm recording this a little early just so I can get it out on time and I want to enjoy this uh, lovely morning we're having, this lovely Sunday morning. Sorry, but before we get any further in the game, I gotta check this out. How did you sleep? I had that dream again. About your parents? Yeah. This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. The lens is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type. Thank <laughs> you. 
18th of July. I awoke this morning at the sight of my father wringing his handkerchief tightly between his two hands. Wide-eyed and unblinking, he stared in Raleigh's direction. Raleigh had passed. Infection had set into his wounds days ago and shortly after, fever took hold. Between fits of cold sweats, labored groans of pain and demented ramblings, Raleigh had somehow been able to insist on forging ahead. Father had tried to reason with him telling him to turn back, to let us carry the torch. But Raleigh made it clear. Turning our backs on him would have been leaving him there to die. We forged ahead. We were as far away from civilization as we had ever been, and we foolishly continued to trudge forward. So long, old friend. All full up. Can't carry any more. Okay. There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Truck stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about it? Follow my lead. What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who broke onto a body. Whoa, hold up! I got him. Hold on, the friendlies. Keep your eyes open. You check back there. Yeah, I'll do it. Put it right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. When's the last time this thing was served? Quiet. What's your team doing? 
I'll check. If we're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's a main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller rooms right. we might have missed before. Okay. Really wet, didn't it? I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We have to move it. Pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not coming for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. We think about that. We can take them. Alright. You go left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a. Hey, hey. The hell? Guys, I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Hey! Hey! Sammy! No, you don't! <laughs> Trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their visitors. She could feel things coming. Volcanic eruption. That did it. Come on, let's go. Any idea what the twins in that riddle are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when... Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. There's a place nearby we can stay for the night. How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? <sighs> no. 
There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby, Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. So, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? Yes. Yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There's some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Uh, 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 why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. Have fun. Me too. Hmm. Right, whoops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No here, eh? You're used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years have been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do. And now, who is that guy anyway?
ones in, ones in white are the ones I, I already have. Kuakiaku, just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go, and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Omar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. I know it sounds silly here, but Omar. Uh huh. They've been working all night. And isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's on shit. No. Now fuck off. Let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These. Pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss off, you're spoiling the reception. Omar? Who are you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? <sighs> I blew out my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now, and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. 
Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean, I'm a researcher. Oh, oh, well, still, wish you could have seen this place 20 years ago. It was booming, vibrant, full of life, and so optimistic for the future. <sighs> optimistic. Gullible more like it. What happened? Porvenir happened. Big oil company out of Lima. They came in here, bought up the town, gave everyone jobs. They even planned to build condominiums across the river there. Until the bottom fell out. The oil crash. Now we limp by on the scraps they left behind. Shame you're not a tourist. Tourists bring money. Archaeologists just take. I haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Mm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it. So they all came to protect it, too. Pablo. Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. Be back in a few oh, minutes. Shit, generator, why is this always breaking?
kill me. <laughs> nice. Get back to the village. Gather your things, I go back to the village. Bless you. This is a dedication to Supe, god of death and ruler of Uku Pasha, the Incan underworld. It entreats him to come forth with his legions of demons and to converge on this site, where the local people will do him honor with written poems extolling his greatness or offerings of food and drink. By paying him the respect he deserves in this way, the local people pray he will only take those he must and not harm any others of their community unnecessarily. Pablo told me what you did. I... I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. 
I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. for this episode of Tomb Raider Tuesday today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you again next week.